Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to discover how easy it is to create a screened back version of an image to use as a background in the print module. First, I'll set my layout style to custom package. Then in the print job settings, I'm going to print to a JPEG, but you could also print directly to a printer. I'll enable the custom file dimensions and enter 10 by 10. In the rulers grid and guides panel, I'll enable show guides and choose grid for grid snap. Then in the cells panel, I'll click clear layout to remove any existing cells. To create a cell that's the same size as the file, I'll choose the downward pointing triangle, choose edit, and then enter in the dimensions. I'll drag an image from the film strip into the cell just so that we can see it. Then I'll return to the cells panel, choose edit, and create a second cell that's eight by eight. Because the first page is filled with that first cell, Lightroom Classic automatically adds a second page. I'll drag and drop the cell onto the first page, reposition it as desired, and then close the second page. This time I'll drag and drop a different image into the cell. Now to create the screened back version of this image for the background cell, I'll tap D to move to the develop module and choose photo, create virtual copy. Now I can adjust the virtual copy without affecting the original. In the tone curve panel, I'll select the point curve and drag the black point up in order to lighten the blacks and create the screened back effect. Then I'll return to the print module and drag the virtual copy into the background cell. One shortcut before we wrap up, holding the command key on Mac, control key on Windows, we can drag to reposition the image within the cell. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.